There are so many amazing places to visit in Japan. But what's the best way to get there? Well, follow me and I'll show you. With the Nankai All Line Two Day Pass, I'll be using the Nankai Railway, riding from Nankai Namba Station to Gokurakubashi Station. Here, in the middle of Wakayama Prefecture, surrounded by nature, I'll be visiting Koyasan, a place which is high up in the mountains. So, we've just got off the Nankai train, and now we're going to head up the mountain. Um, it is a bit of a steep climb, but don't be intimidated because we do have a cable car. <laughs> Koyasan is an important Buddhist sect. There are over a hundred temples scattered throughout the grounds here. The Kompon Daito enshrines a three-dimensional mandala with large gilt wooden statues surrounded by the four Buddhas of the Kongo Kai. The most important place in Koyasan is Okuno Inn. And this serves as the mausoleum of the monk Kukai. He's the founder of Shingon Buddhism. Okuno Inn is one of the most sacred places in Japan and it's a popular pilgrimage spot. It's beautiful. The cobbled pathway leading to Okuno Inn passes more than 200,000 mossy gravestones and memorials under a thick green canopy of ancient cedar trees. True to the Buddhism principle, it's not the destination, but the journey that counts. Why not spend the night in a shukubo? That's a Japanese term that refers to temples offering lodging. And there are over 50 shukubo temples in the area. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this view. Can you believe this is where I'm going to be staying tonight? Amazing. And this is my room, traditional Japanese style. Vegetarian Buddhist cuisine, known as Sojin Ryori, is also oh, served here. Some veggies on top. This looks amazing. It's a real feast. Using only vegetables and wild plants, Sojin Ryori skillfully adapts to the changing seasons to provide tasty, nourishing food for the body and the soul. Buddhist cuisine focuses on delivering the true essence of each ingredient. Shukubo temples serve shojin ryori meals to overnight guests, but it's also possible to get Buddhist lunches at some of the eateries in the temple town. Oh, it's lovely and soft. Oh. I seriously found my heaven. Oh. So good, so good. So, I had a fantastic time in Koyasan. I had a very spiritual experience in Okuno Inn. I did finish my trip with an amazing gourmet vegetarian meal. Excellent, I'm vegetarian, so it was paradise for me. Ah, speaking of which, I'll just finish off my dish. Mm, so good. Mm. For more information, please check out the following. <laughs>